the News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. A lot of us woke up with clouds, then the showers moved in, and in some cases, for some people, you know, some of those showers were quite heavy. But now, as we go through the evening hours, we are starting to see those conditions improving thanks to a cold front which is now down to our south. So we're on the dry end of that front, now taking all of the moisture to the south along with it. And you see the edge of the clouds here now starting to move into the northern portions of the Susquehanna Valley. So if you're not seeing the sunshine yet, you will very likely see it here going into the next couple of hours. We will really start to clear things out as some drier air moves into the mid levels of the atmosphere. Now, right now on radar, we do have a couple of linger lingering very light showers, and mainly in the western portions of. Franklin County with one shower here around the Bedford area, stretching over into parts of Mercersburg, just to the west of I-81. But as you go a little farther to the east, most of the showers are now done with. According to Super Doppler 8, they're all down to our south and continuing to move down to the south. And as you can see, when we take a live look from our Hershey SkyCam, and plenty of sunshine, a couple of clouds still trying to break up. 73 degrees, so it is uh, comfortable when you look at the temperatures. But I was just outside on grass cam, and it is still quite muggy out. Those dew points in the uh, mid to upper 60s. Still very sultry air mass in place with the calm winds at this time. But we will see the winds picking up out of the north as we go through the evening hours, and uh, that'll help to usher in some drier air. I have kept the chance of a few showers in early, but again, it'll be very confined to probably just the western counties for now and really over the next hour or two as some drier air moves in from the north. So then, then some clearing as we go through the later parts of this evening and turning less humid. You will notice those humidity levels falling as the temperatures do down into the 60s. For tonight, mid 50s for lows, and it will actually start to get pretty comfortable out there with the humidity continuing to drop. Uh, we'll see uh, gradual clearing and skies remaining probably close to mainly clear into tomorrow morning. A sunny start to us for our day tomorrow, and it stays sunny pretty much all day long. Low humidity and pleasant weather on the way. Not a bad way to end our work week for sure. 73 degrees right now in Lancaster, 73 in Lebanon. That's a common number across many places. Low 70s in other areas, 75 in Sealands Grove. But uh, dew points, yeah, still pretty muggy, pretty sultry in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. And uh, we are starting to see those showers move down. But uh, the dry air really back into the northern places of, of New York State, that's going to continue to surge in from the north as this area of low pressure continues down to the south. So we get that uh, wedge of high pressure building in, brings in that drier air for us, at least temporarily. Uh, and then we go into later parts of uh, Friday and especially into Saturday morning, maybe a shower there. But it looks like most of that rain is going to miss us to the south. A little bit drier weather for us as we head into Sunday. So that's the three day forecast for you. We see uh, varying degrees of cloudiness, maybe a shower or two on Saturday. Bring back the chance for rain as we go into Monday. Better chance for storms Tuesday and Wednesday before we clear out once again on Thursday. Hey, today's kids' art comes to us from Haven Downs. That's uh, coming out of Red Lion, who's a third grader there. And I wish you folks could see this rabbit. That's a very, very nice rabbit. Well done there, Haven. And uh, thanks for sending that one in. And today's weather watcher umbrella winner today, Cindy Lehman of Ephrata. So congrats to you, Cindy. Brought to you by Whitaker Center for Science and the Arts in Harrisburg.